Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate with every Scorpio watching this video. And if you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be right in the description box below. Okay. What else for Scorpio and love? So like I said, some... Oh, you need to make a decision. Two of swords here. Someone's coming in to boss up. Someone's making big move towards you. This is someone who now wants a structure, a routine. You know, someone who's wanting commitment with you. Okay, this the emperor usually is someone very committed. Okay, someone who wants marriage with you. But they, they're definitely dead serious about you. Okay, and uh, it's going to be up to you. But with the two of swords here, you're in two minds. You don't know what this person is up to. Either because you're too focused on your own self. Or because it's like, all right, now you want to come in and work things with, uh, you know, work things out with me. Like, I don't know. The two of swords is a very stressful decision that you need to make. And I think for right now, you want to keep this decision on the side. Rather like, you know, like not just look at it. You refuse to make a decision. Strength. <clears throat> this person's coming in. Okay, with the strength here, I feel this person's going to put in that all. Okay, they, they, this is someone who has those animal instincts, right? The drive, the passion, the anger, whatever they have, right? I feel they're wanting to work in harmony with it. They know more in their ego. I think this person's coming in to tame the situation and make it their way, okay? They're trying to come in and win you over with the Knight of Wands here. This person's rushing in, but I think this person's not going to give up. They're going to do everything that they, that they can uh, to make this work out with you once you block their ass out. Someone very willing and very determined. They're making big moves, bold moves. You're not going to be expecting this. I don't think you trust them, you know, because you're blocking your heart chakra. You're blocking yourself out from this person. Knight of Cups, they're coming in. They're coming in. They want to finally follow their heart. They're coming in. Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. Either it's two people. Okay, I'm getting a few scenarios here. Either this is you who's wanting to follow your heart and you're wanting to do something else, okay? You're wanting to go to what someone else because you're just not interested in this person or this is just this person okay who's again there could be a second person two people coming towards you one is the page of cups one is the knight of cups one is in a, a little immature and the other one's finally who's ready to open up ready to commit ready to be emotionally vulnerable or <clears throat> or there's someone who's wants to wants to apologize start an emotional con communication with you and they're ready to open up they're ready to express themselves this is your knight in shining armor your prince charming is coming towards you whether you like it or not they're coming in with a hermit okay this could be someone who's ghosted you or this is someone who's done a lot of contemplation they've thought a lot about the situation and after that break, after ghosting you, after staying away from you, after having that alone time and wanting to have that self-introspection, they're finally coming towards you, okay, with the hermit. This is coming out of isolation and after that um, entire research, right, this person's finally uh, wanting to come towards you and with the temperance here, this is, uh, something's going to need a lot of patience. You know what I'm getting? This could also be you who's wanting to maintain a lot of patience here, okay? You wanted to keep to yourself. You wanted to keep the drama and the chaos away from yourself. Because for you, you've probably realized that what is in your control, you need to take responsibility for it. And what is not in your control, right? You need to let it go. You need to let it flow. Yeah? You're exercising a lot of self-control. It could be. It doesn't have to be. Yep, Ace of Pentacles. They're coming in with a brand new offer, okay? They're coming in with something very, very tangible, something very, very practical. Ace of Pentacles is this the sign of a commitment, but also the sign of starting of something very, very tangible, something very practical, like I said. This is not emotions. This is not passion. This is not uh, logic, but this is something well, okay, like let's start something stable this time, okay? Something that holds value. Two of Cups, dude, you have a relationship coming. Oh my God, you have a relationship coming in. Two of Cups. You love them. Seriously, Scorpio, please don't tell me you don't. You love them, they love you, but you know what? They really screwed up in the past year and now you don't really believe them, okay? I'm just getting like, you know, for you, it's like, no, I mean, I still don't believe you, you know? Maybe this person is genuinely wanting to work things out, okay? They're ready to offer you something stable, but for you, it's like... Do I want to be in a relationship with you or not? They're coming to offer everything to you. But you're holding back with the strength here. You're trying to withhold your emotions. Maybe you probably gave it to this person too soon, too quickly. 
and this time you're trying to exert that self-control on yourself okay like no like give it some time okay i don't want to make the same mistake you know that i made the last time okay maybe this person keeps ghosting you every single time i'm with a home that's a ghoster right they come into your life, something goes wrong, they ghost you. Again, they have that realization, they come back, something happens, they ghost you. And you're fed up of that, probably. See, with the moon here, right? There's that unknown energy. There's like, I don't know what to do about this. I have no clue about what this person wants from me, right? Because you probably feel that there's something hidden. There's some hidden agenda that this person has. Or there's some secrets. Or, you know, some things. You're living a lot in your illusions and beliefs. There's no facts in front of you, okay? And the illusions is because two of souls. You're not ready to see the reality. You're not ready to see the truth for what it is that this person is genuinely coming back to you. Maybe you're living in your fears. You know, you never know. See, King of Wands. They're looking at you. They want action. They're going to take, I mean, they don't want action. What I meant was, they're coming in towards you. They're zoned in on you. They're looking at you. They're looking at you. Probably they see you working very hard, working on yourself. And now they want to come in towards you with something solid. <clears throat> The king of wands, right? He's very, very decisive. He's bold. He's daring. He's courageous, right? Someone who's ready to put in that work finally and that effort. But you're holding back. See, that's what I'm saying. You're holding back. There's a lot of holding back from your side, Scorpio. If not you, this is the cross watcher. Take it how it resonates. You're holding back. Maybe you're just too focused on yourself and not wanting to focus on them. Maybe you're trying to numb the pain by just working on yourself, okay? Because that can also be a workaholic. But they, they love you. They're coming in. They want this relationship. They're coming in with that apology to you. If not an apology, this could also be you who's wanting to follow your heart and this time you're not wanting to follow what they're saying. You know, it's like probably your heart is saying, chuck it, let it go, you know? And your mind is saying, no, give them another chance. That's why with the two of swords, you're, you're stuck between your head and your heart. Ten of wands. Because this relation, this is this is a relationship that is getting them stressed, okay? Maybe this person has a lot on their plate, you know? Ten of wands is a lot of responsibilities. And most of it is not for them to carry, you know? Maybe they're carrying a lot of responsibilities. Maybe they have, they're the breadowner of the family, whatever, right? But again, the moon is here. It keeps showing up, which means that this could be uh, a self-inflicted stress, okay? Maybe you're stressed with the 10 of wands here when this person comes in because with the moon here, you have more belief and illusions and your viewpoints about this person, which is stopping you from this relationship. Because see, the strength, the two of swords, eight of pentacles, 10 of wands, this all looks to me like you. They're coming in, but you feel the need to pull away. You feel the need to think about this. You just don't want to go jump in head first. Something's stressing you out, you know. It's stressing you out. You probably feel very unsupported by this person, you know. And you probably, this relationship was something where, you know, you felt like you had to do everything in this relationship, you know. Eight of cups. Yeah, you're walking away, babe. You're walking away. Six of swords, eight of cups. Look, what I can also get is that this person comes in, they come in, they want this relationship with you, okay? Um, <clears throat> maybe you get the clarity that you want. Maybe it is a wish fulfillment. See, temperance here, right? You you probably get a reconciliation, but finally you walk away because probably either, I think what happens is that even if things come in right, right? I mean, probably this is still something that's too much pressure on you. Because you're walking away with the Eight of Cups here, right? You're choosing not to stay here. You have the clarity that you need. The Six of Swords is moving ahead or moving on with clarity. Maybe this person comes in and tells you what you what they want from you. And you choose to walk away. Because again, Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups, it's too much for you to handle. See? That's what I'm saying. Three of Swords. Either you're breaking their heart. I feel you're breaking their heart. This is going to break their heart. That I mean, like, what the hell? Why can't we be together? See, devil here. There's someone who's... Either someone is already stuck with someone else, you know, in that codependent relationship. Or 
this is just a negative pattern which you probably feel that this person is going to repeat again and again and again and you don't trust them see that's why it's you're having a real hard time making a decision you refuse to make a decision about them two of swords ten of wands here and you feel the need to walk away maybe you feel the need to temporarily walk away you know and disconnect yourself emotionally wheel of fortune of source game card yeah. i think this person is going to come in and give you clarity okay they're going to talk to you about it you finally get what you want that's what i'm getting okay finally universe is on your side finally the ball is rolling in in your favor okay but there's some stress that is being created here something is still keeping you under your doubts something still a lot of there's a lot of stress here i saw the moon twice again when i'm telling you when the moon comes in right this is not some facts or logic that you're wanting to look at okay this is more like your past relationship with this person or probably your experience with this person or how you view with this person okay that's something that's probably stopping you from being with this person or probably stopping you from making a decision i think this person really wants to genuinely wants to work on this okay there, there is an opportunity of a new beginning here there is a relationship here this person is so like absolutely wanting to be with you they're ready to apologize they're coming in with an apology but something's stressing you out so much that you feel the need to walk away because i don't know you're in two minds about taking this with a hermit here you know you're in two minds about whether you want to accept it or not because we have the outcome as the three of swords and the wheel of fortune here which is a lot of stress, separation, etc. Finally, you get what you want. But again, it's like either you're like, do I still want this? Or it's just coming, this is coming in, but it's, I'm getting either you're revisiting the old wounds, okay? Maybe the old wounds are not really addressed to and this person just comes in like, okay, you know what, babe, I love you. Or you know what, guy, I love you. And now let's just forget what happened. And for you, it's probably like, no, 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 whatever I went through in the past, where is that conversation? You know, when do we talk about that? When do we talk about whatever I went through in the past, right? Maybe there's no acknowledgement. They're not being able to acknowledge what happened in the past. They're not wanting to talk about it. They're just like coming from nowhere and they ask you to make a decision and you're just like stuck. Like, I mean, stuck between a rock and hard place, you know. You can't, you can't be with them and you can't be without them. And it's like, this is all I ever wanted. But something's creating a lot of stress and big issues, you know, between you guys. Which keeps you thinking again and again if you want this or not. I feel a lot of thinking is going on. A lot of thinking. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.